Professor Grillard from Worcester Polytechnic Institute, and I'm going to do the calculations for four-point bending for displacements measured by the machine at the location of the anvils, right here, uh, not the center displacement um, that would be measured by a deflectometer. So the measured displacement is equal to V at point A where the anvils are and by this equation here which you can get in the back of any stress analysis textbook. These are cut and paste from Timoshenko's uh, book. Just rewriting that equation. Replacing the x with uh, a, the location of the anvil on the left. In that case, we get this equation here. Um, note that uh, often the this is uh, different because del measured is not equal to del c. Okay, so this is the equation you would get um, relating uh, the measured displacement uh, e, the modulus i, the moment of inertia, A, the location of the anvil, and L, the supporting load span. So in this case, this distance is L, and so L equals the support span, and this distance here, S equals the load span and A is the distance from the pivot to the loading location. So calculating the bending structural stiffness is just rearranging that equation del M is del measured for me So I'm just replacing um, L with S plus 2A because um, that uh, support span is the loading span S plus 2A and um, then I can also note that uh, P, this load, P is equal to one half of the force because the total force is being measured by the machine F um, here by this diagram is equal to 2P so I can put that here so replace P with F over 2 keep the over 6 this is the measured displacement and then I do my uh, algebra here Noting that K, which is uh, the bending stiffness, is equal to the force measured by the displacement measured. So if you have a force displacement curve, that would be K. Now we can put K in here. And then 2 times uh, 6 is 12. Simplify this equation. We can pull A out of it.
So there's an equation for our bending structural stiffness. Of course, um, you just have to divide by I to get the modulus. of the actual material and intrinsic material property. And there we have our modulus value. Now for the special case of A equals L over four or that the span equals half of L, um, or on the Intron software, this would be called the span ratio, which is in this case would be 2. Again, this is the span, the load span, and this L is the support span. So for this special case, we can also calculate the measured displacement. As we did on the last slide. Here we put in um, A equals L over 4 because S is equal to uh, half L and then you have A plus A. So here we have Again, just adding L over 4 wherever we have the A. Simplifying this down, pulling the 4 out. Pull uh, an L squared. We have an L here, we have an L here. So we have. Uh, 1L squared out, and we get PL cubed, note that this is the same uh, equation as three-point bending, so this is same as three-point bending. only for special case. Of that loading span. So we can also calculate the bending stiffness, K. And this would be what would come from the data. If you looked at the slope of the data curve, and that's going to equal F is 2P in this case, LM for the linear region. Uh, we can look at our bending structural stiffness in this special case. So I just take um, the equation above here, this equation for Del measured, and then rearrange the terms, uh, and I get this equation. So this is equal to the bending stiffness. So EI is the bending structural stiffness equals the bending stiffness of cube over 96. And these two terms, uh, the bending stiffness. Uh, and the bending structural stiffness, so this is bending stiffness. Those are those are what's required in uh, like the standard for bending of uh, metal bone plates. So the modulus you can pull right out of this is equal to KL cubed over 96. Now, what is the strain? Uh, this is equal to 
the maximum, this is the, the maximum strain is equal to the maximum stress over uh, E, which is the Young's modulus. Replacing K with uh, 2P over del M and replacing M um, or delta F over del M and replacing M with uh, for a moment for this case is the moment is equal to FA over 2 and A is equal to L over 4 so it's FL over 8 in this case so we get This is going to be equal to 12, because 96 over 8 is 12, C, DLM over L squared. Now this is equal to the same equation that you get from three-point bending. Uh, however, this is, this is not the equation that's used by the software uh, for example, the Blue Hill software in Instron, because the Instron assumes you used a deflectometer. The deflectometer uses del C, which is given in this equation. This one is not valid with uh, that. This is dm, the measured. So when you use the measured, you get that. Now, um, if we compare those two, you will note that um, I did in the previous talk that del C equals 11 3 fourths times PL cubed over EI and del M equals 1 48 PL cubed over EI. And the ratio of those two equals 1.375. Now this is only for this special case, um, del M for the span ratio of two. But what this does is it gives you a way of uh, calculating the correct strain given the Instron output. So the Instron is going to output assuming it gets del C. You want to calculate del M. You have to take whatever the Instron gives you, say 4.125% strain, divided by 1.375, and you'll get the 3% strain that is actually occurring in the sample.